What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up. All right, gang, it's time to get back into it. God damn. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So I listen, yesterday I only released two videos. Um I had a third coming, but I kind of rage quit on it because um I don't like recording videos and, and feeling too grifty. I was actually recording this video right here. We're going to talk about Flintlock. But I really did feel like I was grifting. You know what I'm saying? So I went to start over, reset, and uh, cover this from a better angle. You got this new this new game coming out, Flintlock Siege of Dawn. Okay? It's dropping. But at the end of this video, I'm actually going to inform you of another game that you should be playing instead. Because don't make no mistake, guys. This game, Flintlock. It's a sweet baby product. Ooh, you can't have that. My, you can't have that. So before we get into it, guys, we got to pay the bills. The Squabble Shop is open, okay? If you want to be a member of the Squabblers, you got to learn how to squabble, okay? Go out here, get you some squabble gear. Uh, <laughs> I'm really thinking, I might order that pink shirt for myself. Yes, sir, I don't have no problem with it whatsoever. I'm going to yeah, get me that pink shirt. You know what I'm saying? Get you a, a, a water bottle, a mug, a bag. However you want to do it. We got more designs on the way. So I'll let your boy. Also, uh, live show every Friday. Um, check in with me tomorrow at 7.15 uh, p.m. It's normally at uh, 5.15, but we're doing 7.15 tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, join the channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so let's get back into it. So the woke gaming media began narrative blitz for upcoming Sweet Baby Inc. Influence Flintlock siege of dawn okay if you remember the story we're gonna go back over the story of this game so um uh your boy grums as he's always doing doing god's work uh said proof of sweet proof that sweet baby ink ruins game now we don't have to we don't have to go over the entire thing but we do want to go over some bullet points okay so originally the protagonist for this game was a white woman okay god, hey. you know what i'm saying like she was a white woman now uh, I wonder, do I have my sound? Okay. She was a white woman, and for all we know, she could have been a night Rider. She fucks niggas, y'all. Trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. But Sweet Baby Ink came in. A chick by the name of, where is she? Where is she? Um, What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? I forgot her name. Where is it? It's up here somewhere, y'all. Hold on. I lost it. Let me dance on y'all really quick. Let me dance on y'all really quick. <laughs> oh, okay. I, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. Her name was Andrea Tops Harja. Okay, whatever. I, I, I hope that I'm saying that right. I'm probably not saying that right. You stupid. Okay. Andrea is rumored to have used the company's funds and manpower to power her own personal agenda and products um, and projects, I'm sorry, on initiatives not related to the game or even the studio itself. One such initiative that I found is Inclusion FX. Okay. Uh, let me see. Pull this up. Inclusion FX. This is Andrea Tops. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I bet you she is a top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid, bro. I'm stupid. Okay, but let's continue though. This is apparently inclusion FX. Okay. Um, so that's crazy. So she was hired to come in and diversify stuff. Uh, and then she used their funds for something other than the company. Okay. Now she was in direct cahoots with Sweet Baby Inc. Now, uh, according to Grums and his source. After ne nearly two years of these DEI changes, that the damage had been done. At this point, the studio was purchased for $175 million, an unusually high sum for a small studio by Kepler Interactive. So we there was a controversy earlier. Remember, uh, this game is on uh, Cabrutus's Steam curator list, okay? And on his website, Sweet Baby Ink Detected, or now it's called DEI Detected, which y'all already know how I feel about that. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay y'all already know how i feel about that but they were trying to they were trying to get Cabrutus to take them off the list i will let you guys be the be because the, i'm stuck between it if because they apparently uh i don't know if she was 
you know, I don't know, Andrea, I don't know if she was fired. I don't know what happened, but she's no longer working there. And presumably there was a controversy where somebody from the studio reached out to Cabrutus and was trying to get him to um, remove the game from the Sweet Baby Inc. Detected website, right? Because they were saying, we no longer have ties to Sweet Baby Inc. And then Cabrutus was like, well, I need to see proof. Let me play the game. Remember what I told y'all. I don't agree with that at all. I don't. I really, 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 really don't. I believe if it, if it had been me, I don't want to tell Cabrutus what to do. If it had been me, I would have taken their word for it and I would have said, okay, this company says their ties with Sweet Baby Inc. is gone. We're going to take them off the list and then we'll let you guys decide after you play the game what happened? We already know that the character was turned into a black girl. It's nothing you can do about that this late in the game. But what else is in it? How woke is it? Is it really, really woke? Or did they kind of flush out everything that they could? We don't know. But unfortunately, Cabrutus chose to um, keep them on the list. And I will let you guys decide on whether or not you agree with that. Me personally, I would have taken them off the list. And so, you know, and so I don't know if I'm going to play this game. I don't know. But I did want to kind of give you guys an alternative because Flintlock is coming out soon. But also another game is coming out soon and it's called The First Descendant. OK, The First Descendant is a Korean made game. OK, and it looks nice. So we're going to take a look at some of these clips. You know what I'm saying? We're going to zoom in uh, because they squabble. Yeah! They squabbling out there now. Yeah. Okay. They squabbling. So look at some Hello. of this. Are you ready to be shot? The speed of light allows Bunny to move faster and acquire more electricity. Catch me if you can. She can also roam around the battlefield, electrocuting enemies and saving her friends. Bunny's powerful electricity can deal massive damage to enemies. I'm unstoppable! She can even summon an electro orb to give her enemies an electrocution effect. <laughs> when Bunny is charged with electricity and lands after a double jump, it's game over for everyone. Uh. Oh, that, that, was, that was underwhelming. God, nice. What the fuck was that? I'm thinking she was about to... I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking she was about to blow the whole ground up. Bitch, what was that? It's over for everyone, you say. Save by me. <laughs> so that's July 2nd. Here's some more. They're they revealing characters. Tsunami to our foes. Hold on. While Valby can be a deadly tsunami to our foes, she is as gentle as the morning tide to her beloved friends. Water playtime! Okay, bunny. Okay, bunny. Let's zoom in some more. Oh, 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 okay, okay, bunny. Valby can liquefy her body to move faster, creating a waterway that turns her enemies into mere laundry. She can also create big puddles, then jump out of her desired location and deal damage to enemies. Try not to get wet. With Valby's ability to. She said, try not to get wet. Oh, Lord. Lord have yeah, mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> Manipulate water. She can also shoot bubble bullets and form small puddles. Watch out for the splash. Valby's weapon can also become the unique laundry bomb launcher. One blast of this water trap and victory is in her hands. Don't forget, your MP will drop massively when using skills standing on water. Smooth like butter. Okay. Okay. And I got, it's one more I want to show you. This is apparently Ajax. Let's see what Ajax is talking about. Now introducing Ajax, the divine space bender. Ajax always makes it out alive. He can even survive the void where real world physics don't apply. Huh. No one will die on my watch. 
With his great charisma, Ajax specializes in protecting his teammates. His barrier ensures the safety of his friends while dealing damage and deflecting hostile attacks. You will not pass! With his sturdy head-to-toe armor, Ajax can push enemies and inflict knockback. He can also deal massive damage to surrounding enemies with powerful shockwaves. Okay, I'm going in! Without a doubt, Ajax is the ultimate leader as he protects his friends using void energy throughout battle. I will protect my team. <sighs> okay, so there you have it. That is the first Descendant. They've revealed three characters for you to sink your teeth into and my question so here's the thing i'm not gonna sit up here and act like that was just like the most amazing gameplay we ever seen God damn. it looked to me like a cross between you know a little bit of anthem a little bit of uh uh um what was that 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 recent uh looter shooter that it was called something i, for, I forgot the over what, what was it i don't know I, I forgot that shit came and went like a fart in the wind but uh <laughs> that shit came and went. <laughs> I remember playing it. I just forgot. I can't even remember his name. That's how I can't remember. It was something about uh they had abilities and they would shoot. I don't know. It was like a fake ass destiny. But um I mean it was it was a little bit of fun. But anyway, but yeah though, this is kind of look like some anthem and uh, uh, I don't know. You know, it doesn't look generic, but it, it doesn't blow you away. You know what I'm saying? But the good thing is the game is free to fucking play. Okay, it's free to play. You can't beat that. Okay, you can't beat it. So, so it, I mean, it's worth trying. Um, and you know which which way, Western man? Which game you gonna play? <laughs> so y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I will talk to y'all later. As far as um, Blink Lock goes, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell, motherfucker. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you.